As already mentioned, the self-copy modifiers work with all the transformation tools. For example, let's say we need to rotate and copy a column 12 times around a center location. Select the Rotate tool, double-click on the multi-copy modifier, select Divide Distance, and type 11 in the Number of Copies field. Click on the column, click the center location, type 360 in the Prompts palette and hit the Return key. 12 copies, one being the original, and 11 copies are already distributed along a 360-degree rotation. By using the proper topological level, you can also transform parts of objects by moving just a face, segment, or point of an object. Let's move a face of an object. From the topological level modifiers in the fourth row, select Face. Select the Move tool, and click on two edges of a face and drag it. Click a second time to end the move. To move a segment, select Segment Topological Level, then click and drag a segment. And finally, let's move just a point. Select Point Topological Level, then click and drag a point. In this next section, we cover moving, rotating, and scaling objects with a single tool called the Transform Object Tool, which is the sixth tool in the Transformations palette in the 13th row. This tool invokes the controls or parameters of an object represented graphically. The mouse can then be used to manipulate these controls, which results in changes applied to different parameters of an object. With the Transform Object tool active, click on an object and the transform controls are displayed. To move the entire object in any direction parallel to the current reference plane, click and drag on the center node of the marquee. Click a second time to end the movement. To move the object along its x-axis, Click and drag on the red axis line inside the rings. Click a second time to end the move. To move the object along its Y axis, click and drag on the green axis line inside the rings. Click a second time to end the move. To move the object along its Z axis, click and drag on the blue axis line inside the rings. Click a second time to end the move. To uniformly scale the object with the same scale factor applied to the X, Y, and Z direction, click and drag on any arrow outside the rotation rings. Click a second time to end the scaling. To non-uniformly scale the object with a different scale factor in the X, Y, or Z direction, uncheck the Uniform Scale option in the Tool Options palette. Click and drag on the red arrows and the object scales in the object's X direction only. Click and drag on the green arrows and the object scales in the object's Y direction. Click and drag on the blue arrows and the object scales in the object's Z direction. To rotate the object, we'll look at the three rotation rings. One of the rings is always drawn in a solid color and the other two rings are dimmed. Clicking anywhere on the active ring starts a rotation around that axis. A second click finishes the rotation. Clicking anywhere on a ring that is not active does not start a rotation but selects that ring as the active ring. Let's rotate the object around its z-axis. If the blue ring is not active, then click on it to make it the active ring. Click on the blue ring to start the rotation, then click on it a second time to end the rotation. Now let's rotate around the object's x-axis. Click on the red ring to make it active. Click on it a second time to start the rotation, then click on it a third time to end the rotation. Click a blank area in the modeling window to exit the transform object mode. To transform an object along the world axis instead of the object's axis, select Lock to World Axis in the Tool Options palette. With the Transform Object tool active, click on the object and observe that the Transform marquee aligns to the world axis, not the object axis. Click and drag on the red line inside the rotation rings to move the object along the world X axis and not the object's X axis. This concludes the basic transformations tutorial.